I applied for a job here in Jackson cleaning houses, and I was living in Bandaran. And finding a house to live here in Jackson was hard and expensive. So when the woman who interviewed me said she had a place that I could run from her, I took the job. I worked for this woman for 11 months, cleaning houses and rental properties. And I liked the job because it paid well, and I had a place to live in Jackson, which was the best, and it was close to my girls' school. Everything was perfect. One day, my boss called me and she said she didn't approve my hanging out with one of my coworkers, a guy, the maintenance guy, who happened to be married with the manager. And I tried to explain her the my friend and I ran into him in a coffee shop and had coffee with him. There wasn't anything more, but she didn't believe me. She accused me of having an affair, which wasn't true. I was sad, and it felt unfair, but there wasn't anything that I could do. So I tried to stay away from those people and hope it would go away. But being in a small town, rumors spread out fast. Eventually, this rumor got back to my 13-year-old daughter. One day she said she knew about it, just because the manager decided she needed to tell her. I couldn't understand why they did it, why they wanted my daughter to hear those things about her mother. That was evil for me, and I thought, this is it. I grew up in Tlaxcala, Mexico with my mom, and there, if someone is saying damaging things about you, lies, you could report them to the police and they will help to put an end to it. You can sue for defamation of character. So I remember going to Jackson Police Department. There was this young and kind officer who helped me. I had so much frustration and I felt desperate and miserable. And I started explaining to him what was happening. He asked me why I was still working there. I said, I'm giving her my two weeks notice. He asked me why. And I said, well, I think it's what you have to do when you're quitting a job, right? He said, there's no law that it says you have to give two weeks notice. So he said, you don't need to work for this person anymore. And he also said that he will help me to find a job if I needed to. So I went home and I called my boss and said, I quit. She got very angry and she said, if you don't work for me, you can rent my apartment anymore. So she gave me three days to move out. Finding a house to live here in Jackson is difficult, especially for a single mother of four girls. And I didn't have any money saved because I had been paying her $2,300 a month. And the money that I made working for her was barely enough to cover bills, food, and things I needed for my girls. And sometimes it wasn't enough. <sighs> but... There was nothing that I could do. And to move to a new place, I needed first month, last month, plus a security deposit. There was no way that I could have that money in three days. But the law was on her side, and she could legally evict us with nowhere else to go. The officer put me in touch with one organization that helps women, a shelter. So we moved to the shelter, and it was a very nice house. We had our own room, and it was cozy. But I knew it was only temporary. So I managed to find a new job, 
that I could start savings for my new home. And thanks to one of the local organizations, 122, and people at the shelter, I made it. During one of, do, sorry, during one of the, those days, I got introduced to a group that was trying to bring people together to get involved in the community. So they invited me to join this Latino leadership program where we talk about all kinds of issues the Latino community was facing here in Jackson, like education, housing, public safety, etc. And because what I had been through, I decided I wanted to focus on housing issues. And I learned that I wasn't the only person who had experience being evicted from their home with no notice. So during um, one of those meetings, someone mentioned that there were opportunities to go to the town council meetings and talk about and raise these issues. So I got the idea to go there and propose landlords be required to give 30 days notice before they can evict a tenant so the tenant could be prepared for a move. Many Latinos thought I was crazy. They said the law wouldn't be there to protect us. Usually these meetings are attended by landlords and people with power. And they said no one would listen to me. Nobody would care what I have to say. That I wouldn't have a voice, a Latina. Mm -mm. I was disappointed. I thought, well, maybe they are right. But at the same time, people who was supporting the housing group was telling me that attending those meetings would be more effective. So I decided to go. Town Hall, it's a very formal room, and it was full with people who has issues to discuss on the agenda. And I was a little intimidated, but I wasn't alone. Two other amazing ladies from the housing group were with me. We were the last item on the agenda, and when we were called, I was very nervous, like today. <laughs> and I was worried about my English and speaking in front of the mayor and the council. But I knew I had to do it. So I started speaking. I told them my story when I got evicted from my home and how hard it was to be out there with nowhere to go with my four daughters. And I wanted to avoid more people could live this experience. And when I was done, unanimously, town council members and mayor agreed that this was something that should be made into a law. They told me that they needed two more hearings before they could before it could become a law, but they all agree. They heard my story. They did care, and that was amazing. And on November 17, to, no, November 21st, 2017, it became a law. Landlords have to give 30 days notice before they can evict a tenant. After that, I went to more meetings with the housing department, county commissioners, and town hall. And I worked to try to help people in our community to find and keep safe, affordable housing. These days, my girls and I still live here in Jackson. I love my job. Still expensive to live here. Right now we share one apartment, one bedroom apartment. But it's home and it's safe 
and it's ours. And I am so grateful to be here in Jackson. Thank you.